Welcome to Good Mythical More. You would be surprised at what things that you think are Chinese originated as Italian and vice versa. We'll probably be even more surprised. Hang on. But first, let's kind play. of. What? Kind I said, of? I mean, kind of. I mean, they're inventions we all know, and they they may have been invented by the Italian or the Chinese. Yeah. If I hold it just right, I thought that's what I said. That you said, I said we think of them as Chinese, but they may be Italian and vice oh, versa. <laughs> originated. If I hold it like that, it looks like it still might be on the wheel. <clears throat> oh, list them all, huh? Hey, list them all. Types of pasta: rigatoni, uh, spaghetti, linguine, uh, elbow, bow tie, s angel hair, macaroni. Um, what are you looking at in your mind to get these, man? Uh, <laughs> curlicue shells. It's curlicue's not a type of pasta. How far can you go? Keep going. Keep looking. Well, keep what keep have, looking in the What have I said that you, I, I don't know what you've said that I haven't said. Fettuccine, uh, um, mm, mm, mm. lasagna is a type of pasta because it's the big sheets, you know. Uh, yeah, gnocchi. Gnocchi. <laughs> All right, surprises, Stevie. Chinese and Italian origins of s stuff. I yeah, mean. yeah, so this is what I mean. Like the first one is the mechanical clock. Now, I personally don't think of it as either Chinese or Italian. I don't know. I don't know what comes to mind wow, for you guys. Okay, this is tough invention. because you think about like <clears throat> Da Vinci like sitting somewhere like and like figuring out how to do the mechanical hmm. clock, but then you mechanical think about clock. all the crazy stuff that has been invented in China. And the cool thing about at certain times in the past is like there was these things that were happening completely isolated. Yep, like, uh, like a co-invention. Even the the advent of agriculture was popping up in multiple places around the world. I mean, it just well, you, happened. You got dirt. You got a plow. What you gonna do? Well, but you've been sitting there with essentially the same level of intelligence for hundreds of thousands of years, and all of a sudden, boom, everybody just starts doing agriculture. Pretty Only cool. explanation is aliens. Um, I think that the first uh, mechanical clock was, um, it, it still involved water. It was a water clock. And? And mechanics. And that makes you think China? Yeah. No, but, and it happened in China. That's I believe it's Chinese. I don't know about the water part. I'm. Yeah, it's Chinese and there's a water part. That link is all over it. Okay, tell us about the water part so, link before we hear about it. It was set, oh. How'd you know about this? Um, it was set <laughs> next to a creek. <laughs> okay. I don't know, I, I just, I know something about a water clock for some reason. Huh. I don't know. 725 AD by a Buddhist monk. It was operated by dripping water which powered a wheel that made one revolution in 24 hours. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's how I would make a clock. Wow. I guess what I was thinking. One revolution in 24 hours. That's, a, that's, a, that's either a slow or a big Slower or wheel. big, yeah. How would, you, <clears throat> how would you zero that in to be 24 hours? I guess you'd do something Gears, with man. the sun. You'd have, like, you'd have like a sundial. And so you know that like, I can tell exactly when it's 24 hours later and I gotta get this wheel to go around. And how many times did the guy have to sit there and like be like, ah, oh, a little too much water. I gotta make the hole a little bit smaller to drip that water. Do you think about the trial and error? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in China. in China. From the mechanical clock to paper cups. Paper cups? Yeah. Hmm. Certainly feels like an American thing. But that is not an option. So you've got, I mean, you definitely had a uh, paper, uh, you know, you've got, the first paper on the planet was. Um, papyrus. Uh, was it? Papyrus? And they made a font out of it that's been around forever. Um, was wait. that the first paper? Or was there like a, was there like a Chinese paper Separate. Then they started rolling up and to hold water for the clock. But how often do you? That's what it is. How often do you have? Water how long do you have to go with just having paper before you realize you can roll it up and drink out of it? Drink out of it. You got to put wax on it. So they had to have wax. Wax feels Italian. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Wax feels like an Italian thing. Because of the cheese. 
cheese and candles. I just it just feels very Italian. They were invented in China. Yeah, right. Paper cups have been documented in Imperial China and were used to serve tea. See tea. Okay. There tea, was wax tea. though, right? You can't have a paper cup without paper wax. Paper cups definitely my ch my preferred method of drinking tea. Yeah. Dentures. Dentures. Um. Wow. I'm so definitely going to say uh, China again. Um, so this has got to be a place where they needed dentures, which was not... Um, wooden. For a long dentures. time, I mean, again, pre-agriculture, like losing your teeth just wasn't, you didn't live that long and you were just eating like berries and twigs and stuff. So your teeth were fine. If you put anything on those gums just to help you keep chewing, it increases your, your, your lifespan, which would be cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with Italy for no reason <clears throat> whatsoever, other than the fact that China was the answer to the first two. I'm sticking with China. And they were invented in Italy. Oh, the dentures. Etruscans of northern Italy were the first to make false teeth using human or animal teeth in 700 BC. Oh, not wood. It's a like. Wow, other would you rather teeth have became your assuming teeth. that they fit perfectly and they look the same? Would you rather have ant human or animal teeth? If you had to, have, if you had to get dentures, this is from a pig. This is from herb. Oh, a pig tooth. That's but it look, but it look, but it looks the same. It, um, they've carved it or whatever you do, and it looks I, the same. I think it's. Uh, I think a pig or a creature is is less creepy than another human. But like, I would take a kidney if I needed it from another human. I'd take a heart from a pig I'd if I needed a, it. I'd take a pig kidney. Yeah. I'm actually can you do thinking that? about doing it. I know a heart valve you can take from it's a, a kidney. It's an electric procedure if you want a pig kidney. It's a, Confetti. It's, a, it's electric, so you don't have to need a kidney? You can just get a... If it's pig. No, that's not true. I don't think they figured that one out. Would you rather have human teeth or, or animal teeth? Human. Why? Uh, I just feel like I want a part that was intended for the right machine, man. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Don't give me a Ford engine and a Chevy. Would you rather have a Ford engine or a Dodge in, Dodge engine in your Chevy A Dodge body? engine. <laughs> Confetti. You, the funny thing, where we come from, Confetti's if, you definitely found out that, if you found out that your neighbor had a Chevy engine in his Ford, like he would lose friends. That'd be weird. You know what I'm saying? It's like, don't tell anybody I got a Ford engine. Uh, <laughs> oh, they, they were serious like confetti. growing up Ford versus Chevy does anybody come from a place where Ford versus Chevy was like a real real problem yeah, yeah. little Calvin guy peeing <laughs> yeah you got but Calvin, Calvin, Calvin will on pee on one. both he'll pee on anything he'll pee on anything yeah. if he can get if you'll, if to sell you uh -huh. a sticker he won't pee on the cross he kneels at the cross oh <laughs> <laughs> you know if you if he pees on the cross, that you don't yeah. get your window busted in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, Rhett. You can't do that. You can pee on the devil, though. <clears throat> I, I'm saying confetti is China because they, they invented fire gunpowder, and it feels similar. Gunpowder is like the confetti that is that kills. Yeah, yeah, right. You start with confetti and then you upgrade. Confetti. Confetti was invented in. Italy. Boo! No, it wasn't. Um, I don't believe it. It was thrown during carnival celebrations. Milan is credited with inventing paper confetti. Milan. The Milan. umbrella. Check this out. We got a, we got a plushie. Let's go ahead and promote these things because it's the last quarterly collectible item of the year. You can get it by being a Mythical Society member. If you're not already third degree, you got to join quarterly or annual by December 31st so they can talk to you. I say, would you, after I say, would you like some wood? Hey, can you sink it? Golly! Not a sponsor. Hello, sheeple. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Smell of that. You know what time it is. As you can see, we can't. And there's plenty more where that came from, mythicalsociety.com. I'm sorry, Stevie, what did you say? The umbrella. The umbrella. A, a, um, where does it rain more? China's a big place. China has got it rains if, all if it, over. If it happens, it happens in China. Yeah, it that, does. That's that I put. I had a T-shirt that sold really well a couple years back. <clears throat> the monsoons, boy, walk through the rain in the rice paddies, man. If you can feel it, you can feel it in China. I had a lot of versions of it. Um, if you if you if, if, if it, it can, can be, be done, felt, if it can be done, 
If you can think it, it was thought in China. I mean, what, you, you know, you got that many people in that big of a place with that varied of a landscape. The breadth I'm of going, human experience has happened in China. Just think about it for a second. I think they're if used you've to getting experienced rained on, something, though. something, and you're like, I think I've just experienced a completely novel thing. It's happened in China already. Yeah, I hate to burst your bubble. I'm going with Umbrella? Italy though because they don't they don't like to get as wet. They don't like to get as wet. Mm, I'm not gonna. They're I, wet of ours. I'm not gonna have any comment about what you just said, but I think it could be taken the wrong way. Uh, I'm gonna go with China. China. Oh. People have been using parasols for sun protection as early as 3,500 years ago in ancient Egypt, but yeah. the first waterproof umbrella was invented in China in the 11th century. Mm. Man, just think about that. If it can be invented. 11th century. So yeah. like for so much of human history, no umbrella. Like you're just in the rain, you're wet. Or you're wearing a hat. Or, or a tar kind of hat. A waterproof hat, they didn't have like Columbia hats like back a, then, like a straw hat. Oh, yeah, right, it goes right through it. No, no, no. Like a like a straw roof. You think it's that tightly woven? Yeah, that's a heavy hat, brother. Yeah, a waterproof hat, man. Eyeglasses. Ooh. Eyeglasses. Oh man, uh, I actually think I know this because I saw it in a book. I'm probably gonna be wrong, but I think it's Italy. China. It's Italy. Okay, can I say what I think I know about yeah. this? There's an mm. island off of the coast of Italy, where glass was discovered. Wow. And they started making glasses with it, because uh, it was basically superheated sand, right? It already, and it already was shaped like, a, like lenses? And it became this, it was a phenomenon when it started spreading around Europe, and then next thing you, you know. You can look through that and see better? Yeah. What? Tell me where I'm right. Well, the first wearable eyeglasses appeared in Italy during the 13th century, which is not when they discovered glass. So. Uh, no, hold on. G glass. Eyeglasses, eye, glass for eyeglasses is more recent. Type in like Italy island glass. Maybe that was, maybe I'm just thinking about glass. Confirmation bias, right? Mur no. Murano. Not yes. glasses, glass. Murano is a series of islands linked by bridges in the Venetian lagoon. Renowned for its long tradition of glass making, ferry loads of visitors come to explore, uh, tells the story of glass through the centuries, and to shop for locally crafted souvenirs. There's only 5,000 people who live there. Uh, okay, Venetian sailors may have discovered how to make glass. Yep. Little is known about the first attempts, but they believe it was 4,000 years ago in Mesopotamia. Okay. Well, okay. let me ask you this. You remember when Sawyer got glasses on Lost? Yeah, man. Wasn't and, that nice? And he like seemed a little bit smarter, and then Yeah, he kind of he kind of got soft. Kate was like, hmm, I like you with glasses. You, you might be as smart as the doctor now. Mm, you give, me, give me some tutelage. Yeah. In this cage. Matches. Wow, okay, well. Matches, well it's fire, and you know, they, they were inventing gunpowder. Gun powder. Powder. Put it on the end of a stick, I mean, that, yeah, that's I mean, like, that's day, ground it up. day three you think of this. You you st you, 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 you adhere it to gunpowder to the end of the stick. Yeah, if they didn't do this in China, then I've lost all hope in my deductive Well, oh, they did it in China, did they it's, do it first? It was China. Yes, of The course. first version of the match was invented in 570, 70, 70, 70, 70, 70 wow, CE. In the future. <laughs> by get the matches, y'all. By impoverished court ladies during a military siege, hard pressed for tinder during the siege, they used little sticks of pine wood impregnated <laughs> with sulfur. You can impregnate one. You just don't want anybody watching you when you do it. What does that baby look like? You know what I'm saying? I bet it stinks. <laughs> To get the Red Link plushies, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by December 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.